What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis and today's video, this goes out to you and the FPV community. I wanna give back and further educate and help out some of the new guys coming into our hobby, help foster uh, just some common knowledge out there that we speak about in a lot of our videos. And this video is gonna help you further understand some of the acronyms that we're talking about. And guys have been asking me for years to make this video, but it's such a deep subject in the hobby, understanding all the acronyms that are in FPV and the sport of flying drones. Uh, very complicated, very quickly. So we're gonna give you over 150 different acronyms and slang that's in our hobby today in this video so that you can further understand more deeply have a better understanding of what we're talking about in our videos and this will help give you some better education on what drone flying is all about and for guys that already know a lot of these acronyms there might be some in here in this video that you can freshen up on so let it play kick back and absorb the information we're going to start out with number one of around 150 acronyms so if you know someone that's brand new in our hobby share this video with them and they will learn a lot from it here we go now before we get started in this video i want to let you know that this list is available in a text format on the dronecamps.com website i'll put a link down below so this is the beginning of 150 plus fpv acronyms and fpv slang that everyone needs to know and we will update this list from time to time, adding new acronyms and new slang that comes along in the hobby. Feel free to add your comments down below if you'd like to add some new slang or add an acronym that we didn't list. Because in my heart, I believe that FPV should be an open source community. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca. You have a chance to win this DJI FPV drone, the case and two batteries. We're gonna choose one of the next 100,000 subscribers to be our lucky winner. So please subscribe, good luck, and happy FPV. So let's get started. The first acronym in this list is 2.4 gigahertz. This refers to the most popular radio frequency used in the RC hobby. 915 megahertz. It's a frequency mostly used for long range flying. 1.3 gigahertz. It's an older alternate frequency for video systems. 107, we're usually referring to having a commercial drone flight certificate by the FAA. 250G, we're referring to standard aircraft weight that needs to be under and not to be registered with the FAA or have remote ID on board. Sub 250G, we're referring to under 250 grams. 16 by 16, that's the size for micro nano size flight controller VTX and ESCs, commonly found on tiny whoops. 20 by 20, it refers to a millimeter size of flight controller or ESCs. 20 by 25, it's also a common whoop size for AIOs. 30 by 30, refers to the millimeter size or of the flight controller and ESCs, most common on five inch and four inch, uh, six inch and seven inch quads. Two millimeter, it's a common size for micro quad bolts. Three millimeter, most common size metric bulk for five inch quads and others. Four and one, it means all four ESCs are on a single board. It can be a 30 by 30, it can also be a 20 by 20. AIO, that means simply all in one. It refers to the flight controller and the ESCs sold together as a pack or a bundle. Sometimes it includes the VTX and analog setups, but not digital. AC means alternating current. Acro, is the art of flying with minimal accelerometer help. Yeah, Acro has some accelerometer in it. It just kind of smooths things out for you. ARF, it means almost ready to fly, commonly called ARF. Addy mode, that's flying with no GPS position hold or lock. Altitude hold is still active, but not GPS hold. AGL is above ground level, or HAGL is height above ground level. AP just simply refers to aerial photography. Autopilot is an automated flying system, non-human controlled flight. Betaflight, the most popular open source GUI for FPV drone setup, tuning, VTX, radio, ESCs, motors, OSD, CLI, flight modes, and uh, many other options inside this source, free downloadable software. BEC, battery emulator circuit, low voltage cutoff, 
it's also used to downstep the power to the flight controller for safe operation so you don't fry your flight controller. Abando, it's short for abandoned, abandoned building or places for FPV flying. Bind, the act of connecting your receiver to your radio. Band, the main frequency spectrum where eight channels live and reside, aka A, B, E, F, R, B, V, L, O, S, beyond visual line of sight. BT 2.0 is a connector by Beta FPV, usually on 1S. CG just means center of gravity of an aircraft. OSD is on-screen display. That's the text that appears on your FPV goggles from your drone. ESC is electronic speed control. Control your motor, speed, etc. EIS, electronic stabilization often used in cameras. FC is flight controller, also known as FCB, the flight control board. PIDs, that mysterious thing that all of us are trying to learn how uh, to tune our quad means proportional, integral, and derivative. Um, those refer to gains on a flight controller. KV, this often refers to the constant velocity of a motor, not to be confused with KV, abbreviation for kilovolt. So a kilovolt rating for a motor tells the number of revolutions per minute, RPM, when given a volt is supplied. Elevator, E-L-E-V, is usually seen in the T-A-E-R, or the AETR radio settings. We're gonna talk about those a little bit later. AIL refers to aileron, referred to in your radio settings inside OpenTX and EdgeTX. Rudder, simply RUD, referring to rudder in the radio settings. Throttle is THR, referred to in the radio settings as well, in OpenTX and EdgeTX. Expo, exponential. The drone's radio setting and to increase or decrease stick sensitivity around the center of the stick, making soft or quicker controls for your drone. FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. FS, it simply refers to fail-safe, when your drone loses receiver and your radio connection. Firmware, that's that operating code found on electronic hardware that you can load. Uh, you can also do nightly build firmwares as well, uh, commonly found on flight controllers and digital cameras. Dive, the act of diving an object while flying FPV. Uh, we all love to do that. DC, we're referring to drone camps, also known as direct current. DSM, digital spectrum modulation, often found on spectrum radios, the older versions. D-Shot, a popular ESC protocol that's uh, still commonly used. BL Heli 32, it is an ESC protocol on 32-bit. RX is a drone receiver that you put on your drone to talk to your radio. DJI, the Zhang Innovation, the maker of DJI drones. ELRS, it's a long-range open source radio protocol. TBS, one of my favorites. Team Black Sheep, the makers of long-range radio systems called Crossfire. F1, F3, F4, G4, F7, H7, they're all different flight controller processors um, that allow us to fly our flight controllers and drones. Flow, the style of flying from one trick to the next with smooth or planned movements. FPV, you guys should all know that one. First person view, that refers to a video system on the camera to the drone with the goggles. FW simply means firmware. It can be found on many things and not just drone related. Cameras and flight controllers. Also radios. GCS, ground control station, used in long range with large LR antennas, receiver, and usually mounted with a tripod. GNB, it's a manufacturer of batteries. GPS, global positioning system, commonly found on long-range drones and long-range fixed-wing aircraft. GND, just simply means ground, negative pad on the ESC or flight controller. 5V means 5 volt, a 5 volt tap on many receivers and flight controllers. The gyro, just means gyroscope, the sensor used to keep an aircraft level on three axes. HD FPV, it refers to digital FPV systems like DJI, WalkSnail, and HD0. HD0, a popular open source HD FPV system. Hexa, refers to a hexarotor or simply a he hexacopter, a drone with six motors. Horizon mode, 
That's the mode that allows you inside Betaflight after you have your set switch to it, allow you to do a complete flip or roll, but it helps with some stability to a certain degree. Octo refers to a drone with eight motors. Y configuration is a multi-rotor configured in the shape of a Y. An X8, that is a multi-rotor with eight motors on an X-frame, but with one motor on top, one motor on the bottom. It's usually used for heavy lifting, cinema cameras, or heavy payloads. It saves space, but it has great power. I2C is an inter integrated circuit. This allows several sensors to be connected at once. IMU, internal measurement unit, sensor board that sends data back to the flight controller. Very important on DJI drones. CAM refers to the FPV camera or onboard cinema camera. MAH is usually referring to the milliamp per hour, one thousandth of an amperit per hour, AH, often seen describing a battery size. Example would be 2S, 3000 milliamp, and so on. 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S, 8S, 12S, it's referring to a battery size. The S means cell, how many cells in each battery are represented by the number and following the S. KK, Captain Cook, the designer of a flight controller from the 2012 era in the drone craze, sometimes heard in chat as KK2 and also KK2.0. Simon K, the developer in around 2014 of the era of ESCs, much cheaper but not commonly used in 2023. CF means clean flight. This was a pre-beta flight quad configurator that we all used. Uh, didn't have such a great graphical interface like beta flight does. JR module is a standardized external transmitter module bay commonly used for swapping RX protocols if you want to change from one protocol to the next. JST, it's a smaller battery connector for smaller quads or components, usually with red, negative, and positive cables only. JSTSH, it's a smaller version, but it has multiple types of low current and signal wire connectors. Jello refers to the horizontal and the vertical wavy lines distortion in recorded video or FPV camera. JB, my man Joshua Bardwell, a Karen, a person who verbally or physically harasses you while you're flying your drone. IPEX. It's a smaller connector for many receivers and video transmitter antennas. It's interchangeable with UFL. Micro, that refers to the smaller size quads, two inches and below, in my opinion. MMCX, larger connector, more robust than IPEX, but not suited for tiny applications. LC filter, that's an inductor capacitor, a filter circuit used on drones that helps clean up a video signal resulting from power uh, intrusion and introduces static noise into the video feed. The LC filter helps clean it up. LED, it's a light emitting diode, low voltage form of ultra bright light. LHCP, left hand circular polarized. Drone pilots match these antennas on their drones and FPV goggles. If you wanna kind of mix them up, you'll find that it has bad results. LHCP is used by DJI goggles and video transmitters. Right hand circular polarized RHCP is the opposite of LHCP, most commonly used in uh, antennas in our drone hobby. LIHV, simply high voltage lithium polymer, it charges to 4.35 volts per cell. The LiPo is charged to 4.2 volts per cell, so don't charge a LiPo as an LIHV, you might have bad results. A Lion is a lithium ion, lower discharge rate than LiPo batteries, but it has a higher energy density, which means they can fly for longer distances. And Lions don't ha like to have a high amp draw, so a high throttle input. Be careful and uh, do not use these to freestyle fly FPV. It's uh, not recommended, only for long range. LiPo, lithium polymer battery. It has a high discharge rate for quick, powerful bursts of energy, but less flight time than Lion. It's not commonly used for long range. Uh, it's more suited for freestyle and proximity flying. Line of sight, LOS. It's flying looking at your drone with your eyes, but not through your FPV goggles. Loiter simply means a, a flight mode that allows the aircraft to circle around the home point at, at a set distance. It usually needs GPS data to function. LQ means link quality. It refers to the quality of the link from your receiver to your radio. MAG means magnometer. It's an electronic compass used for flight controllers. 
mode one and mode two. That refers to the radio stick setup on your drone. Mode one is throttle on the right, and mode two is North American setup with throttle on the left. MTOW, that's a maximum takeoff weight. Nano, that refers to the small size FPV quad. A NOTAM, that's an FAA notice to all airmen, unclassified announcements referring to a flight hazard or a change to flight operations or path. NFZ, you should know this one, it's the no-fly zone where you can't fly your drone. TOW means takeoff weight. OAS, obstacle avoidance system, commonly found in DJI drones. The PIC is an FAA term, the pilot in command of a drone operation. P means battery cells in parallel. PH 2.0 is simply a tiny little battery connector for 1S and tiny whoops. A pack, short for battery, let's go fly a pack. PCB, power circuit board used for FC, ESC, VTX, TX, and RX. PDB is a power distribution board. The board is used to distribute current to various components that make up a drone. PNP, the plug and play refers to a drone for sale with no receiver. BNF, it's a drone for sale that comes with a receiver. Polarization, it's a signal path and direction of travel for signal. Um, RHCP, etc. Proximity flying, that's flying close. Range flying, the act of flying at a further distance. RIP, that's flying fast and hard with style. The pitot tube or the pitot tube, I'm probably saying this wrong, but it's a tube that takes in air pressure and it helps measure the ground speed for your aircraft and displays it on the OSD. Punch out, that's a quick full throttle action to make the drone fly straight up. Power loop, performing a full loop over and under something, usually with speed, it involves a gap or uh, large or small. Prop wash, unstable airflow where the drone flies through its own propeller airflow, creating an unstable flight. Not good. PWM, that's pulse width modulation. Three signals used to control servos and speed controllers, commonly found on FPV airplanes. Quad, short for quadcopter or FPV drone. Rate, RC rates, numbers that control how fast your drone flips and rolls. RC simply means radio controlled commonly used to describe the entire RC hobby, such as Drone Camps RC. We do a little bit of everything. RDQ means Race Day Quads. It's a popular online FPV retailer owned by Tyler Brennan. The FPV Freedom Coalition. This is a group that everybody in FPV should know about. Check out their website. It's a group based on protecting the flying rights of all FPV pilots. We should all donate and support and help the legal fees protecting our hobby of FPV. RF means simply radio frequency. RPM, revolutions per minute. RSSI, it's a received signal strength indication that refers to the number from zero, meaning none, to 100, meaning full signal from the receiver to an RC radio. RTF, that means ready to fly, refers to buying something with everything you need to fly in one box. RTH means return to home, refers to the automated GPS return to home point. RTH may or may not land. So some RTH only circles the home point while others return and land. RTL, different than RTH but similar, is return to land. That's a defined automated return to the home point and automates a landing to surface level. RX means radio receiver or on the flight controller for the specific UART tab known as RX. This can be R1, R2, etc. SAT refers to satellites. C and avoid is the act of quickly lowering or landing your RC aircraft or flying to a safe height away from a manned aircraft. I practice HAV also, hear and avoid. If I hear it, I fly it down to the surface. Send it, the act of flying long distance or super fast. Scraggle, the unseen tree branches that crash your quad momentarily, also known as witch's fingers. SA, Smart audio, used for making changes for your FPV goggles to change your video transmitter power channel, PIDs, or camera settings. S-Bus, very common term in the hobby. It's a serial communication protocol that blends up to 16 channels into a single wire. 
It changed the game for FPV drones and made RXs much, much smaller with less connections. SMA, it's Subminiature Version A. It's a coaxial connector for antennas or commonly found on goggles or VTXs. It can be male and female. RP SMA, it's Reverse Polarity SMA that also can have female and male connectors. Pin or no pin as well, they're here to confuse you. Uh, TAR ER is a radio setup typically used in crossfire setups in Betaflight receiver tab. Telemetry is the data displayed on your radio, FPV goggles, sending you this information on aircraft like battery level, GPS, info, RSSI, cell voltage, etc. Tiny Whoop, micro size FPV quad starting by the king of kings, micro Whoop man himself, Jesse Perkins. TX means transmitter or your drone's radio. It can also be the signal tab on a flight controller for the transmitting data in a serial connection. TVL means TV lines. It refers to FPV cam resolution. Turtle mode, that's the mode that helps you flip over your quad to the upright position. UART, that's a universal asynchronous receiver transmitter. I can barely say that. Serial connection port, found on flight controllers and to add various quad components. RX, VTX, GPS, etc. UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle, very simply. UFL is a smaller connector found on many tiny whoops and VTXs. VTOL is vertical takeoff and landing. VTX just simply means video transmitter. It's a device on the quad that sends a signal back to your FPV goggles. The antenna receiver display an image on the screen. XT30 means smaller connector usually found on two to four S drones. Connector on the battery and on the quad. One male, one female. XT60, a little larger but standard size battery connector for quads, usually from three to four to six S batteries. It's found commonly on three inch, four inch, and five inch drones, sometimes seven inch. XT90, a larger connector for large batteries from three S to eight S batteries. It usually has eight gauge wire on there. It's very common, found on much, much larger aircraft. Yaw, this is the movement axis on the Z axis of the horizontal right and left. It's also associated with rudder. One example trick would be a yaw snap, a quick yaw turn in a 180 degree axis. Super fast. WOT means wide open throttle. So that's all for now, guys. We could keep adding to this list forever, but this is a great start for a better understanding of what we're talking about in these videos. So many reviewers use a lot of these common acronyms. And some of them are a little deeper to give you a little better understanding of what FPV drone building and flying is all about and some various slang that I just threw in there for fun. But I stayed up till two in the morning last night on my laptop writing out this list and um, adding to this list uh, and still adding to this list as we go. So this will be on our website on dronecamps.com. If you want to go check that out, download it and share it with a STEM program or educational program please feel free to use that information for your educational purposes. Um, that's what Drone Camps is all about, teaching the next guy coming into the hobby. And it might have helped you out learn a few new ones if you've already been in the hobby for years. So uh, it can get pretty complicated pretty quick, but we want to keep things simple here on the channel. So uh, that's what it's all about, keeping it simple and having fun and learning something new as you go along day to day in the hobby. But I'm here to help. Please put your comments down below and uh, share this video with someone that you think it might help. I'm Justin Davis, guys. Take care and Happy New Year. It's 2023. I'll see you on the next one.